What is up guys? It's Razor. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age for the PS4 In the previous episode we attained three medallions And so now we can take on Humbaba Fury and Chaos in the Necker Hall of Nabaldis But we're not going to be doing that yet in this episode, we're going to take on Zeromus. So before we do that, let's go ahead and go to the bazaar. And I got some new items up here. Let's go ahead and buy them. Black bolts and hunting bow. Hunting crossbow. And we can also buy the morbid urn now because I have enough money for it. And we get canopic jar. And we also get a collector trophy as well. Alright, so to take on Zeromus, we must talk to an Acolyte, which I think we may have talked to earlier, I'm not sure. But we're going to go talk to him again if I didn't earlier. So I'm not sure if I did or not. Yeah, but he's right over here. Hey, he's talking about the Great Condemner. The Stone of the Condemner. Alright, so now we have that. We can head to the Still Shrine of Miriam. Which we, of course, went to earlier in the game, obviously. Long time ago. Well, I guess it wasn't a long time ago, but... It's been a while. Also went maxed out on X potions. And I have the my party uh, with all physical attacks. Uh, because this battle, you can't use magic. So it's kind of like uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced where they have like the laws where you can't use certain certain things so for this particular battle we can't use magic that's like the only thing I could compare it to I guess you could also compare it to Final Fantasy X against that one Machina where you couldn't use magic or whatever Yeah, we'll be relying on our physical attacks. We have X potions, we have Phoenix Downs, all that good stuff. So we'll be fine. Especially at our current level. Alright, so we have to make our way to the south over here. There's actually a new enemy here, Reaper Mage. The enemy wasn't here earlier when we came here. Use the use the stone of condemner. And I boss on berserk. Uh, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, though. Uh, you may want, uh, let's see, where that? Some haste to gamotes will be pretty good since you can't cast, you can't cast haste. Unless you do it before the battle starts. Alright, but here we go. Let's get ready to take them out.
And it's boss time. And I want to set up our gambits for um, lowest, lowest max HP. Alright, um... Yeah, in this, against this boss you cannot use, uh... Magic. And this is Zeromus. Who shares the name of the boss in Final Fantasy IV. The final boss in Final Fantasy IV. Let's use the haste to gamote. Let's take this thing out. We want to take out the ads first. Let me see something. Let me set him up to... Take out these undead that keep spawning. Make sure to grab the items. Well, I guess you don't have to do that, but. Yeah, he has like gra. Oh, ouch. That did a lot. Yeah, that was one of its gravity attacks. Alright, Baldi, I'm gonna need you not to steal, bro. Focus on attacking. Oh, crap. Getting swarmed by undead. Boss can sometimes one shot him, which is good. Why are they not using X potions? I think I have it set to 50%, so I think I should change it to like 40 or no, it's set to 30. We'll change it to 40%. Getting a little too close to comfort there. Because that piercing gravage is pretty nasty. Ouch. Stop doing that attack. Alright guys, keep wailing on him. So more on dead spawn. I should probably just keep focusing on the boss to be honest. Yeah, that's stop too. Oh, we're immune to stop because I have power arm that's equipped. Not really to be immune to stop, but because of the power increase. Almost got him, come on. Yes, good job, Bosh. And that was Aromas. That was actually pretty difficult because of all the undead that were spawning. And that piercing grabaja, or whatever it is, I was doing a lot of damage. Basically, the higher HP is, the more damage that's going to do. But other than that, pretty easy battle. I'm not sure if it's correct to just go out to the undead or just focus on the boss. 
The Undead didn't seem to be doing a whole lot. So. Maybe I made a, a mistake by going after the Undead. You obtain the Esper Zoromus the Condemner. Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, so do I have time to take on Exodus in this episode? I think I do. Before we do that though, let's go ahead and give Zeromus to somebody. Okay, so for Ulan it's not blocking anything. For Monk it's blocking Sight Unseeing. Oh, which is pretty useless. Uh, let's see, Machinist. It's blocking Makara. Which I'm not really worried about. Um, nothing for Archer. For Black Mage, it's blocking a Giant's Helmet and a Carabineer Mail, which I don't need. For Foe Breaker. Not blocking anything for Bushi. Uh, blocking some magic lures, which is actually pretty nice. Nothing a white major knight. Ooh, I definitely need that. I might pick that right there, actually. Yeah, it's either that or Bushi with the Battle Lores, or not Battle Lores, but the, uh, what is it, the Magic Potency. But then again, like, Panilla has so many Espers as it is. Is that MP Reduction even worth it? Let's give it a Bosh. It does open up two things. A couple of magic lures. Boosts his damage of his magic attacks. Uh, because Bushi's damage is based on magic. Uh, because they use katanas. So yeah, weirdly enough, katanas are based off magic. Uh, they get a damage boost based off magic. So there you go. Alright, so if we want to take on Exodus. Wait, where are we at? Why did it take us back here for? Shouldn't have took us back to the beginning. Looks like it's kind of creepy there. They like spawn like right when I right when I load it up. Kind of freaked me out a little bit there. I don't know about you guys, but I hate when things just like spawn like out of nowhere. Like, freaks me out. I get spooked pretty easily, though. So it might just be me. Alright, Moss 4 and High Waste.
And we'll go ahead and go spawn Exodus. It's probably going to be a little bit of a long... It's going to be a pretty long episode, probably. But, oh well. Alright, in order to uh, fight Exodus, we need to first talk to this learned man over here. Go ahead and hit listen. I'm with you. I followed. Alright. After we're done talking to him, we need to talk to... Uh, this cabin... Cabineer here. Or however you pronounce that. Caravaner. And he basically says about getting a chocobo. Alright, so now we need to activate this shrine over here. And there's a few of these shrines we're going to have to activate. And as you can tell, things will float up into the air. And eventually, it'll open up a path later. Let's head this way and see if we can find a chocobo. I got Ash and Vanilla for this particular battle because this particular... Uh, Esper that we're going to fight, you can't use items. So, keep that in mind. Let's head this way. And then we need to make our way this way. Make our way past these Humbaba enemies. Make our way to this hidden path. Then make our way over here and dismount. Dismount. Let's see. I guess I could go back up there and grab that chest, but I'm not really worried about it. You get a turtle shell choker. Might as well grab it. Activate this shrine over here. And then make our way over here to this rock. And you can actually examine it. And it'll fall. And then this woman's like, almost got hit by the rock. Well, you wouldn't crush, so chill out. But honestly, I'd be acting like that too if, I'm, if I was almost crushed by a rock. I'd be saying the same thing she said. Alright, now we need to activate this shrine over here. And that's it. That's all the shrines we have to activate. Literally that simple. But I remember back in the day... When I played on the PS2, it, was, it took me a while to figure that out. Uh, because I was an idiot back then. Uh, but now we have to figure. I gotta figure out where I gotta go.
I'll be right back. I gotta figure out where I gotta go. Alright, so I made my way back to the save point. Saved it. So we have to go back to the path that we made. So let's head on over there. And this will lead to where the boss is at. Uh, you definitely want to buff up and all that stuff. And get ready for boss time. And it's boss time against Exodus. So you definitely want to spell. Yeah, this thing's going to take massive damage from us. Oh wow, Redis went down that quick. Wow. Yeah, boss is going to do massive damage to this thing. This thing has some very powerful magic though, like scave and stuff like that. But we almost got it anyway. Oh crap, yeah, see what? See that? That's how powerful scave is. So it would help if you had a uh, a decoy on some one of your one of your characters and have have the decoy character like face another way, face a different direction. And so that way your other characters don't get hit by scave. Cuz I think it only hits characters in front of uh, whoever It just does so much damage though, it's ridiculous. Like it's literally unreal how much damage that does. Even with shell on. Flare does a lot of damage too. Uh, well it seems to be immune to physical attacks. Ah oh, crap, Pinello, why don't you dispel? Ugh. Why didn't she use the spell? I have I have it set the spell first. Ugh. Pinello, what are you doing? Yeah, it's really annoying. Okay, you can stop casting haste, Pinello. I kind of need you to attack. <laughs> stop with the stop and buffing. Ow. But we got it anyway. That actually hurt though.
So yeah, watch out for Scave. Scave does a lot of damage. But yeah, when you get low on HP, it has like a physical paling, so you have to use magic on it. But it has Reflect, so you gotta be careful about that as well. And get a new Esper. You obtain the Esper Exodus, the Judge Saul. Or Sal. And we definitely didn't come out of that battle unscathed. Pun intended. And now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and leave. And... Well, I'm just looking around for chests. Now yeah, we can go ahead and leave, head back to the save crystal, and I'll end the video here. Oh, and there's actually a chest over here. Contains a lot of money. I thought you really need money at this point, but... Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.